Spikey and Bubbles were touring the universe when they saw a star. While discussing the death of stars, they had an argument. Spikey said that stars turn into black dwarf when they die. Bubbles disagreed. She said that stars turned into black holes instead. So who's right? But hold on, before we talk about the death of stars, we must first understand the birth of stars. A star is a huge ball of burning gases which emits energy in the form of heat and light. Let's first see how an average sized star is born. See these huge clouds of dust and gases? Each of these clouds is called a nebula or a stellar nebula. A nebula collects more dust and gas pulling them inwards into a hot, spinning ball of matter. This ball of hot matter is called a protostar. For the next few million years or so, the protostar will grow denser and hotter until it reaches a stable state. At this point, a protostar becomes a star, emitting its own heat and light. But stars don't live forever. After a few billion years, the hydrogen in the stars runs out. A star then grows in size and becomes a red giant. The red giant will then cool down and begin to lose its mass. Its outer layers will begin to form a planetary nebula. Planetary nebulas are some of the most beautiful objects in the universe. Next, the planetary nebula will disperse, while its core will collapse inward and turn into a white dwarf. Eventually, the star will become a burned out chunk of very dense matter which does not emit light. This final stage of a star is called the black dwarf. See, I was right. Not so fast, Spikey. Did you know that the mass of a star determines how it will die? Stars that are at least six times as massive as our sun are called massive stars. Massive stars die a more dramatic death than less massive stars. They also have a shorter lifespan. Like average stars, massive stars also start out as a stellar nebula. However, their remaining life cycle is different from average stars. When the hydrogen in its core runs out, a massive star increases in size and turns into a red supergiant. With time, this supergiant becomes so dense that it crashes inward in a tremendous explosion called the supernova. At this stage, the light of the supernova explosion outshines all other stars in its galaxy. The explosion causes great clouds of gases to fly off the star, leaving behind a super dense core. This core only contains neutrons. Therefore, it is called a neutron star. Sometimes, the supernova explosion ends up as a black hole in the universe. A black hole is so dense 
and has such strong gravity that nothing can escape its pull. The black hole is the last stage of a massive star life. So, who was right? Spiky or Bubbles? Well, both. Spiky was talking about the less massive stars like our sun. When they die, they land up as black dwarves. Bubbles was talking about the massive stars. When they die, some of them will end up as black holes. Why are black holes black? Black holes are so dense that nothing can escape their pull. Even light cannot escape a black hole. This is why they appear black. Let's summarize. A star starts its life as a protostar in the stellar nebula. Then it stabilizes into a star. All stars are born the same way, but die differently. After exhausting its energy, an average-sized star becomes a red giant, then a white dwarf, and then dies as a black dwarf. A massive star has a different journey. After exhausting its energy, the massive star becomes a red supergiant. After a tremendous supernova explosion, the star can either end up as a neutron star or as a black hole.